there's a lot of money in America. There's no doubt about that. A lot of money. Yeah, there's a lot of money in America. There's a lot of jobs in America. There are, I, I feel like, you know, you see people online saying, oh, there are no jobs in America. There, I think there are too many jobs here chasing too, uh, too few people. You'll be sitting in the house and you hear, beep, 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 beep. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. The next minute you hear they shot somebody. They, are, they shoot people like chicken here. Yeah. And these shootings, it's more within young people, not the older people. The young boys, 19, 20, 17, 18, 25, they, they are the ones shooting them. So right now, I'm in um, United States of America. So it all happened very fast. I actually never knew I was coming to America anytime. So it was more like a surprise. Oh, even, okay. when, even when they said I should go to the interview, of course, I knew everything was genuine, but I was still in shock, like, like am I really going to America? Hey, beautiful people. Thank you very much for coming on my channel again. Anytime I see you watching my videos, then I'm very happy because, I mean, you saw the thumbnail, you clicked on it, and then you listened, you watched, and then you put up a comment, and then you also shared this video to also educate other people who may find themselves in such a situation. This interview is sponsored by Ekes Possibility Consult. So this company is into airport pickup, airport drop-off. And if you need any kind of uh, services within Ghana whilst you're here in terms of transportation, they will sort you out. I've been doing my best trying to put down this platform for all of us to share. You could see that lately there's more of interviews because at a point we need to hear what others have to say or what they have to share. Today, I am glad to bring on the platform one of our baddest musicians from Cape Coast who is now living in the United States of America. And there are a lot of things that we've shared you know, during our private conversation that he thinks that, no, Echo, we need to share this to, to the people in Ghana, people in Nigeria, people in the US, to at least learn a thing or two when it comes to Africans in the motherland and Africans in the diaspora. So I'm honored to bring my brother, Kentali. Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kentali, Akome, Akbadododo. <laughs> So before before we, we we start a conversation, you won an award that was was it last year or last two years? Yeah, last year, last two years, last three years I won. Oh, so so what was the award for? What is the category that? Oh, it was for the fan base of the year. Fan base of the year. Yeah, cat nation. Cat. Meow. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so uh first of all uh which part of ghana are you from and tell us just a little bit about you growing up in ghana you know through senior high school to what you are doing now whilst you were in ghana before we come to you coming to the u.s okay so um i'm from cape coast uh, my mother's from Cape Coast, but my father's from ABK, about Krampa. Yeah. yeah a, lot, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, so, I, didn't, I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father is from ABK. So that Cebu area and Aba Krampa area, there, yeah, that'd be my area. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so when I was uh, five years old, uh, my father sent someone to take me to Nigeria. So he sent someone to bring my mom and my sister to Nigeria. So we went okay. to Nigeria. He came back when I was 12 years old, and it was because my father was killed by armed robbers there. That's why I'm oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So uh, when we got to Ghana, I was in JSS3. Okay. Yeah. But at, at that time, they have or, they had already registered the people for BEC. So I couldn't mm -hmm. go to JSS3. I had to go to JSS2. Okay. So I went to press JSS2 and then finished the following year. That was in 1999. Mm -hmm. So I finished uh, I finished GSS in 1999, and then I went to Samo Secondary School. Okay. 
Yeah, so yeah, when I was in summer secondary school, I was a cool, but I didn't like school at that time because school wasn't fun anymore. Yeah, I mean, the person who was really leading me to go to school, that was my dad. Okay. He died. So my mom was busy. At that time, too, we had I had like five, five other siblings. Wow. So you can see my mother was very busy. She can't be chasing yeah. as me. Yeah, so I was skipping classes, but I managed to finish school by the okay. grace of God. <laughs> yeah. What uh -huh. what you know, what did you study? Yeah, I did accounting. You know, at that time, yeah, the um, high school was for three years. Yeah, yeah. But I went for four years. That means <laughs> I, I repeated the whole time. So. <laughs> yeah. Yo. So when I was when when I was in SS two going to SS three, I wasn't going to school that much. So my uh, the headmaster decided no matter what I do, I'm not going to SS3 because mm -hmm. they don't think uh, I'm gathering enough knowledge to go to SS3. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Yeah, I repeated in SS2, mm -hmm. and then I went to the yeah, SS3 the, uh, the next the next year. So I graduated in two. I was supposed to graduate in 2002, but mm -hmm. I graduated in 2003. Okay. When I graduated in 2003, because I was stubborn in Cape Coast, uh, mm -hmm. every vacation, while I was going to school, every vacation time, they took me to Kumasi or Accra so that I would be with my uncles and stuff like that. Um, so when I graduated in 2003, I had to go to Kumasi to go and work a bit. So I was working, I was working in a Chinese restaurant. Oh, okay. So basically, my auntie's my auntie's husband was a, a Chinese guy. Okay. And his family members had a restaurant in mm -hmm. uh, Labikus Hotel inside okay. Labikus Hotel. So I worked there, and I remember my my first pay. I used it to uh, go and buy a Saint John cap. Saint John, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my auntie was so mad because I I, I the pay was like two fifty at that time. That was like yeah. two thousand three. Mm -hmm. And then the Son John cap was like 150. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were using your money to buy fashion fashion. Half of my pay, half of my pay was, was on my head. Actually, <laughs> so uh, basically the money I got from the job, I didn't use it for anything because they were feeding me. Okay. Uh, they were giving me money for transport and everything, but mm -hmm. so I decided to use my money stupidly. Mm -hmm. At that time, I thought I was doing something sensible, but now yeah. I know I was being stupid then. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, my result came and um, I didn't do well. Mm -hmm. I did. I passed four and I failed four. And when I say I failed four, I failed very well. So you know. <laughs> <what happened. laughs> hey, it's a now. Hey, but pass a four. And then four, so it's a four, so it's a Twenty twelve, um, I went to Cape Coast uh, Polytechnic. Now it's Cape Coast Technical University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there. It was I know because she got them down in my opinion. Mm -hmm, okay. I know because she has it to me as it. Yeah. Man, twenty ten. In the beginning, I do mean project abroad. I got a job at project abroad in twenty ten before going to see Poly. Okay, project abroad. What is yeah. it? What is project abroad? And so Project Abroad basically is um, an NGO mm. uh, based in the UK, but they have um, other branches in Africa, okay. uh, like in Ghana. In Ghana, they have branches in Accra, Cape Coast, um, Kumasi, mm. Eastern region. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I was working uh, for the Cape Coast branch. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, that's how come I made some money. I started making money and was able to pay for my um tertiary education education okay because at that time no um they have they, my family members gave my life to me to do my own thing because yeah. i was too i was too stubborn yeah so yeah i managed to go to school i paid my school fees yeah and yeah uh, i i did it by the grace of god so you know okay okay you know, so 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 basically that was that was your life when you were in Ghana. 
Yeah, yeah, that was my life when I was in Ghana. So, yeah. so during during the project abroad, and then the tertiary time, what other different things did you do aside going to school, and then doing the project abroad, and then the project abroad? What were some of the uh, benefits that came up? Yeah, so basically, projects abroad because we worked uh, with uh, people coming from abroad, like Europeans mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, like you pick up people from the airports. Okay. Uh, we bring them and take them to their placements. Most of these volunteers were working in the hospitals, okay. um, working in schools. They supported whatever they did over there. Mm -hmm. And then we took them there like that. So with me hanging out with them and stuff like that, I was able to make friends. Okay. So these people were very helpful. Mm. Um, of course, they saw that the life we were living down there is not the best so sometimes when one is coming they will buy you shoes okay t-shirts tops so people may think i was buying that with my own money now mm. like gifts and stuff so yeah. yeah life was pretty good with that you know yeah. when you're trying to, and then you are getting people to buy you stuff from outside it's yeah yeah it's, it's, it's flexing family. in a way <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. And I, yeah. So with that, I started music too. So it was really okay. I, mm -hmm. I had a swag to um show my people what I got because I was getting <laughs> all these shoes and t-shirts, mm -hmm. and I was able to pay Payo. You okay. Know? Yeah. Because the thing is, if you if you start music and you don't have anything, you will be nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because music, you need money. You can't just say you are music. Of course, you'll be good. People will give you fans. Oh, that mm -hmm. one, I want, mm -hmm. I want, but you won't get anywhere. Yeah, I was making some, uh, getting some money from yeah. all these people and yeah. able to fund my career small, small. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And uh, fortunately for me, it started paying off. We we're getting some small, small shows and getting some. 500 CDs that will see this small small they chop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So that means that means the music that you started doing yeah. was started paying. It started at least giving you some few Ghana CDs here. Oh and there. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, 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 within within your music video, how, how many years have you done music? Um, so serious music, I started 2015. 2015. I was so, freestyling when I went to see Poly. Like in 2012, okay. I was going on stage. As if, but at that time, I didn't have any recorded song. Okay. Song, I was just using people's instrumentals and flowing on there, something like that, on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with the with the with the music thing, what is the highest you have ever made, and then the lowest you've ever made with music? The highest I've ever made when it comes to performances. Yeah, so performances. Like, Thousand Ghana cities. Thousand Ghana. But at that time, the thousand Ghana was heavy. It's not like right now, thousand Ghana. Right now, yeah, yeah. yeah thousand Ghana was heavy, so yeah, uh, it was a good, it was some good money. But when it comes to, you see, me when I did music, I mostly did it for foreigners. That's what people okay. do. So I gave shout outs in my songs. Even okay. one shout out, hundred dollars. I was get, I was giving shout outs and just for mentioning some friends' name, some friends I know they are doing well. I'll mention their name. Charlie, you mention their name. Yo, yo, take, go to us, you know, go and pick up your money. So <laughs> okay. I, I was making, apart from me uh, not making money in Ghana for sure, I was not really yeah. making money because thousand Ghana, in fact, that that one, I can't really do anything with it. But I yeah. was making some money from all these friends abroad musically. Yeah, but people don't know that one. I'll go and collect it and go and stay in my house and chop my small. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talibu, where are you currently? So, right now, I'm in um, United States of America. Okay, which part um, of the United States? Yeah, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Now, we've we've heard a story of you being in Ghana, the music, you were very stubborn in class and everything. Now, you've moved to the US. Tell us how did you get to the United States and how are things going with you now? Oh, so basically, uh, I was able to come here via K1 visa because I, I, uh, I had a US girlfriend and then she, okay. became, she became my baby mama because okay. we had a baby together. And then I came to her, uh, she helped me 
to come here. Uh, we married. Okay. Alibo got married. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so, so wait, wait, wait. This one, this one is like giving us a general statement. How yeah. did you find her? Did, it, did did she come to Cape Coast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the US. So how did you how did you meet your wife? So she came to Cape Coast uh just before coronavirus. Okay. And at that time, when she came, I had a a friend, you say like a friend or a brother. It's like a friend, but more like a also like a brother. Yeah, from yeah. From the UK. He's a Ghanaian. He came from the UK. We actually organized a party uh for Agri Memorial School. Okay, okay. We uh, we we uh, we paid uh, at that time Capital Hill. We paid them to hire their club. We paid them for their club. So mm -hmm. we did a party for Agri Memorial. I think they were celebrating their 80th anniversary or something. Yeah. Yeah. So we did uh, uh, their party there, and the party was really successful. A lot of people came. We made a lot of money, and then we decided to go to Sahara to enjoy. Yeah, uh, me and my man from UK. We, so we were asked, we were sitting at Sahara, and then we met her, and, uh, and we met. Uh, we saw these two girls sitting there. Mm. Yeah. So, um, uh, my man, uh, my man, I knew he wanted to talk to some girls. Yeah. But I wasn't ready to talk to any girl because okay. I, um, I don't like wasting my time talking to girls that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um. So he said, "Yeah." If I if I go fit, make I go holler them. So I just got up and so uh spoke to the girls. I didn't know they were American, I thought they were Ghanaians. Ghani, okay. So I told oh sister, so on to the net. I said, Hello, what are you saying? I said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought y'all were Ghanaians. No, and then I told I told them to, oh, if you don't mind, you can join us on our table. We are celebrating tonight because we organized a show and it was very successful. So uh, you can come and join us. Let's enjoy the night together. No, yeah. <laughs> but can you? Know, and say, any I brought from the casa I know, I know. Must switch it. Must switch it. Must switch it. No, must switch it. No, I'm too busy. Yeah. You see, and what now? Eh, girls, you be said that. Oh, are you from? Are you? Are you from Ghana? I said, yeah, I'm from Ghana. So why is your uh, tonation like that? I am saying, yeah, I try sometimes, I travel abroad, so that's how I got this one. Yeah. I said, oh, wow. Hmm. No, I'll tell you, Monk was on a party in the UK. UK. I'm going to find you for one to Papa. Yeah. So I said, oh, this boy, they are not, we are not toy boys. Yeah. Because yeah. Yes, they're going to be a lawyer, and they're going to be a senior HR. Okay. Um. Wound and all, but it's one yet toy boy and a riff rap. So, one in them, right? Right, yeah, they became our friends. You see, most senior day, they were they were going back a week later, okay? So, they went they went to Accra. We became friends, we got their contacts and stuff. They went to Accra, and then their flights were not on the same day, okay? One was flat. Let's say if one is flying today, the other one is flying tomorrow, mm -hmm. so. The other one was able to fly first, and the one who was supposed to fly last, mm -hmm. the airport, the airport uh, was the airport was locked. Oh, okay, for the COVID during the yeah. COVID. Okay, and she didn't she didn't know anybody because the other girl was uh, she brought <clears throat> she was the owner of the company that brought her to okay uh, Ghana to uh, go on tour. So she didn't okay. know him. she just knew me. Wow, so she called Serious. me. Like, Okay, oh, this is so so what has happened. And I said, Oh, don't worry, come. I'll get you a uh, I'll get you a hotel and stuff. So she yeah. So that's how we became tight. I got her at the hotel and the hotel was I didn't know she I thought the airport was going to be long for like three days or four days. Mm -hmm. We didn't know it was going to be long for this long. So she was paying too much money there. And then you know, you know, you know how if I do I'm for change. Them on destination, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the story began. Yeah, bro. okay, 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 okay. So, so, so due to COVID, she couldn't go back. You, 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 you give her that opportunity to. I mean, you, you were there for her, you know, yeah. trying to make her feel comfortable, and yeah. that is where everything started. So, from there, 
the next place you realized was you guys got into a relationship yeah. and then you had a child because you said she became your baby mama yeah before yeah so i was supporting her spiritually and emotionally <laughs> <laughs> but i but i guess she was she was happy she was happy oh, to yeah, yeah. She, she was very happy she was very and you know she wasn't difficult to deal with she was eating the banku okay. she was yeah. eating fufu um yeah. um patua um, patua yeah so she for me the moment she ate sued um patua i knew no she no nah, she's, 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 she's i'm gonna ask her again <laughs> <laughs> so so how was the transition now from ghana to to the u.s because people who are who are watching would like to know they they are dating you know you know other people from other countries that they would want to know what was the process for you to go through in order for you to go to the US? Yeah, so uh, basically I went through the K-1 uh, visa process. Uh, what is K-1? So K-1 visa, um, your fiancé will apply okay. for you. So it's a fiancé visa. Okay. So she will do everything for you and you have to. She will pay money and do all those stuff. And then she she is the one who is going to request. Okay, your, that you come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the... Uh, embassy will transfer your information to the ghana embassy and you have to bring your documents that shows okay. it through and stuff back in back in documents okay and you go for interview mm -hmm. and so it all happened very fast i actually never knew i was coming to america anytime so it was more like a surprise oh, even, okay. when, even when they said i should go to the interview of course i knew everything was genuine but i was still in shock like like, am I really going to America? Mm -hmm. My mind was not like going to America at that time at all. I, I didn't, it didn't take so long. Simple, okay. Yeah, my was my process was simple. You know, some people mm -hmm. uh, they go through difficulties and stuff, yeah. I didn't really go through any difficulty, yeah. right? So, you landed in America now. Talibo is in America, you know, Talibo is now in America. I mean, we all see it on Facebook. You, you post photos and everything. How has it been living in Ghana all your life and now living in America? What are what are some of the differences? What is happening? Totally, I mean, what are you, like what is what is America like now? Yeah, America. You see, there's one thing. Um, America. There's a lot of money in America. There's no doubt about that. A lot of money. Yeah, there's a lot of money in America. There's a lot of jobs in America. The, there are, I feel like, you know, you see people online saying, oh, there are no jobs in America. There, I think there are too many jobs here chasing too, uh, too few people. Mm -hmm. But the people are spot to the extent they want special jobs. They don't, there are some jobs they don't want to do. Like really? a typical American don't want to do a certain job. They, they won't. So when you, when you come here, there are so many jobs out there, but um, you need to, you can only work when you have paperwork. Okay. When you have your papers. If you don't have papers, you can't, nobody's going to employ you unless you know some, some of your local people and they will let you work under the table. Yeah. But yeah. if you get caught, you be in trouble. Yeah. And I like to stay clean because I stand yeah. law and order. So mm -hmm. I can't. So I had to actually wait. I had to wait for like, nine months before i got my papers because when okay. I, I go here you still have to do the k1 process it's a process you it's have process, to okay. apply uh for stuff by the time you realize you've spent like four thousand dollars gone yeah so i see why some people don't have papers these stories if i don't tell you yeah you wouldn't know you would say oh yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't have money you can't get papers how are you going to get the papers because you apply for this, it's like five hundred dollars. You apply for this one, it's like if you travel documents, like six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. By the time you realize, master, and, and, oh, so if you don't prepare, it's, it's and crazy. and 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 these are all monies that are in in relation to the process that you have to go through to get what you have to get. Paperwork, yeah, to get your paperwork. 
Wow. So now, now, now that you are, you are there sharing all these things, what about life experiences, the day-to-day -day things that you see and you are like, is this really America? What is happening? Like what we used to, what we used to see on TVs, you know, in Ghana, and then you are now there. Share some of the experiences with us. And it's crazy. So when I came here first, I lived in D.C. because uh, my girlfriend's mother your wife DC. yeah my wife's mother lives in dc um um it's crazy like you know you'll be sitting in the house and you hear beep, 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 oh yeah oh. oh the next minute you hear they shot somebody they are they shoot people like chicken here the way they shoot people here brother shooting power shooting gun gun the way they use guns here is like the way we use Gary Ghana. But small here, they so they can shoot you just because of one dollar. Just because of one dollar. You see, for me, it was more like, is this a movie? You see, they live life here like it's like we what we see in the movies. In like the movies. they really shoot people, they will shoot you. You you can be walking in the store and then you hear. A gunman is in the store. I've not, me personal, I've not witnessed a gunman in the store that I am. But I was in the house and they said there's a gunman like this, this, uh, the shop is like 10 minutes walk from here. Yeah. Gunman is shooting people. Just like that. Just like that because he's mad or something. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. On a year pre day, you away. Papa, I have, I have no. So, he, the, uh, the, uh, the country is too big. There's so many things to do. Yeah. But in the course of that, you need to be very careful. Very you careful. Have your helmet. Mm -hmm. Because somebody can just show up because he's mad about what somebody has done to him or her. They just come here and start shooting, shooting. Ah, there was one video, I think it was in Chicago or something. A guy was just walking, walking by the street holding a rifle. And then he was shooting all the cars that were coming to us. Ah, Just there, there, what the it? Wubukun. Wubukun. It's simple. Simple. It's everybody has, everybody has a gun. Everybody has a gun. Do you need one? I have one. Ah, you have a gun. But Papa, my gun is so big. <laughs> oh, my, no, it's not mine. I can't touch. So basically, um, my father-in-law, mm -hmm. he was a military guy. Okay. Yeah, and he has a big gun under the bed. You know, he passed away recently. Oh, As I rest in I peace to him. Yeah, so he has a very big gun. Under the bed, yeah. So automatically, the, of course, the gun can't be for my wife. She, what is yeah. it? Automatically, I have a gun. And you have a gun, yeah. yeah I, 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 you know, I won't use a gun for anything. I won't. I don't yeah. need a gun. But yeah. like, if you are coming to attack me in my house, you 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 have to shoot the gun. Mama can. <laughs> but what what was so shocking with you seeing a lot of guns there and in ghana in ghana you can take like 500 people you you might only find one with a gun and even that that person might have stayed outside ghana before and because of certain experiences they want to have a gun yeah i don't know why the guns are everywhere here i just don't understand because it's the same gun people are just using to kill mm -hmm. other people um and they are so here they call it carjacking people charlie the way people they steal cars for here they still there's so many people stealing cars and police chase every time police chase every police. time police is chasing a car and if last time police was chasing a guy who stole a car and then they hit an innocent citizen walking oh. by the pavement this is this is less than a month here, here in Cincinnati, here in Cincinnati. Papa, the way people die, and the kind of death, it's mostly shooting, shooting us. 
shooting, shooting, mm -hmm. shooting. Most of the people you hear, you hear, if you hear a friend died, uh, they shot the person. They shot the person, yeah. And these shootings, it's more within young people, not the older people. The young boys, 19, 20, 17, 18, <laughs> 25, they, they are the ones shooting them. This shooting, is it amongst races, other race, or is among one particular race? Like, for example, is it with black among black shooting themselves, or is black among white or Asians? No, Which... no, it's just, it's, it's everybody. Can shoot. General. But the, I don't want to. I don't want to be sounding like black or white thing, but the white yeah, person yeah. Can, can pick a gun and then go to when you hear there's a shooter in the grocery store or there's a shooter in a mall, mm -hmm. most of the time it's a white person. Okay. I've not seen a black person going to uh, pick the ones I've seen on TV. They are okay. white guy mad or having a mental problem. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Just pick up a rifle. And start shooting people. Any mass, most any mass shooting is mostly mostly white. Right. Yeah, but the ones when they shot somebody at the corner, also mostly black people. <laughs> it's serious. It's 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 crazy when I when I see it on TV, but I didn't know it was that like you know that evident like, like that real. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, they settle their disputes with shooting. Okay. Like, if let's say we are arguing, hey, mm -hmm. hey, I better your car. I better jump there. Then you are gone. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why the shootings. I don't think it will end here, because that's how they settle. Yeah. They settle their scores. Mm. Yeah, they settle their scores by just. Shooting, uh, shooting their challenger, yeah, the opponent, yeah, yeah, that they will shoot. I always shoot this now. If you somebody went to, uh, you know, their their McDonald's, yeah, KFC. ah, somebody was on a drive through going to in a drive through going to buy food, and she said, uh, he uh, said, they said the person was not responding fast, and when I want you to. Ah, like all things, but no, all the all the pan we get it. We get it. What you do? If I can only do what you do, we shoot it. Ha! So I want to pan in the upper chair, Ogani. Oh yeah, oh. Then pan some more buttons with Bugu. Hey, I say what? I didn't know. Papa, what? I think Americans are most Americans are sport. Okay. Most Americans are. They have life too easy where too easy, yeah. now they feel like everything has to be. A lot of them, they feel like everything, they need to get this for free. That's why I like the fact that a lot of them are coming to Ghana. Mm -hmm. No government mm -hmm. will give you. Which government is going to give you one CD? One, one, one CD. <laughs> hey. that, is, that, is the, that is the struggle that we go through in Africa. So when we when, when when we get the chance to travel outside, you realize that we 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 work with all the energy that we have, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because here, the thing is here. If you if you are ready to work, if you have your papers and you mm -hmm. have to work, mm -hmm. and there is a lot of money for you, you There's make a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Um, and here it doesn't matter what I've seen. It doesn't matter whether you have been here for a long time. Uh, you just came. You can okay. get a lot of money anytime. Mm. But there's, there's money in the, there's money available. The money day, money day day. I don't go lie you. Anybody would tell you say America yes. I mean of course maybe I'm, you are saying no. Maybe I yes. It's been it's been with us. What's the bear here? It's been with us. We put the zin on Lisa eyes. Hey, so nothing is just there. Then you go and pick it. You need to work for it. Right. It's all your zone for America. Why is it on par? Sorry. Down of Funya, so put him up one bro. Now more aqua de Leo, one is it? Let's talk about let, let's 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 talk about your your music career in the US. Uh are you thinking of you know improving on it, you know, do more songs, get more performances? Uh with your music career in the US, you know, how is it like? 
Yeah, so um, so far so good. I've actually gotten a lot of shows, even okay. some some I'm not able to um, go. But not wow. all, not all these shows are paid shows. That okay. Clear the air because some people they will think, oh, every show he, he got paid. No, so there are birthday parties. Of course, you get you they will give you food and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the first the first i got a show i got paid and i so i performed at a reggae reggae festival mm -hmm. yeah i got paid um yeah but most of the shows are free shows okay but but then they... good because i'm it's not bad i'm new and i need to play shows for them to feel yeah fun. Now they right. pay they pay me to go and perform at different places so right it's been good and i've been recording now stop yeah do you wanna as i'm talking now um an american artist has sent me sent me a beat and i need to um ride on it yeah yeah drop my bass on it <laughs> can you can you can you give us something give us anything i mean anything i mean what is yeah give us give us a freestyle hey. They told me I can't really make it. Hip hop was in Guerrero, I can't really fake it. Or to the panel, my mommy go bake it. Me a two guy guy, delivery authentic. Baba God on my side, so I know they felt sick. I used to sell on the street side, so I grew up a wild boy from the wild side. More can I know they care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, darling. <laughs> oh, Baba. Hello. Do you need airports pick up and drop off in Ghana? Get the best experience with AK's Possibility Concert. Thank you. With all the experiences that you're talking about yeah. and everything, it means that yeah. living in, in, the, in the U.S., you need to be strong in order to face some yeah. of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Be my, my number one worry in the U.S. is not really about the economy. Or, it's more about the people. Mm -hmm. so, no, well, you, go to, you go to the mall, all the people yeah, yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. they have they are mean margin. Like when you are with Kuku when you, yeah. Until when I go check between you actually two times, they go with Kuku. Yeah. Look, people have people have um weapons for real. Mm -hmm. So you look at somebody's face and you do like this. You everybody see Obiala is serious. So she does a lot sometimes. I think. Here, most of um, um, the women are more nicer than the men. Like the women are, most of the women, they are nice people. Mm -hmm. But most of the men, you see, people don't trust, they don't trust each other. Each I think other, that's yeah. one problem here. They don't trust each other. So that's that's what is bringing confusion. Like in Ghana, oh, but if you're about to have the HAB, you have a book. Oh, if you to have a book, hey, boy, Christian. Because when you say you are a pedophile or you are a okay. Our system named the challenge, you will see your killers while you are a pedophile, so pedophile, you are one are You are one be a you are a you are you I will advise you to go to Nibiara and open the door to America. What are you going to tell them? What are you going to tell them? What are you going to tell them? If you want to come to America, I think you need to know somebody here before you can come here. You can't just um, get up, you get some money, you get some $20,000 and now $30,000 and they said, America. Okay, $30,000 in Ghana or your big money. Yeah, you don't know anybody. You don't know anybody in Tiguala Casabe for the first three months. It's a girl with thirty thousand dollars. Not bad, ten o'clock. Three months, oh, not ten o'clock. What do you boom? Not ten o'clock. So you tell any in your paper, sir, you are working for your paper. So send your paper, scorrent in the yellow bag. I had there, and there's no problem. And it's never go to ahead. Then you want to say until we was gonna ahead. Then in a I should show runs, but still a bad bread. But uh, once your papers, so you figure it out. But they need papers. That's the Elba America. Elba even the most talent in Canada, no, in Canada, because in Canada system and so never be paying. Yeah, 
on your computer. See, able to my Yamapian, I answer who won't moon a well, Uncas in your hundred dollars. See, shall and be a to every American and Uncas. Bibia, what do you get and I'm doing that papers? See, it be there with one of some one cousin, one one cousin. Well, the Madak was Wabakasan, but my America better, yes, I know. Ha, I'm Bahatel, Sana, away. Wins them in your bed. So watch them and watch you win. What do what do best your boss lord or Ghana? And for she come. Would deport one and for she come. EJ BBI with you. Hey, babe, what's it to us? A delivery box, dear. I want to know that I am questioning. Martin and Hanelba, if you are coming here and you are coming to Obino uh, or Dolaba, I know the tally of the Obino and Yolaba Panda, and the tally of your one, and I say you be no one jar to me, a baby baby shining chan. Perfect, but that one Casalaba, I know. I mean, I'll tell most people that the one Casalaba and I about hustle. Hey, not today. Obi and Nancasalaba and our Babo hustle were American. Not today, we scattered our Ghana and see why they're better. Why mm -hmm. they give him on that? Anyway, because sell a Ghana, let's say what twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. I'll tell you, you are doing well in Ghana. Okay. You have to buy me something in your links. If they are Elba, I won't be able to own every one. I'm sorry, I know they were them. And who's going to buy some sources of one upon our for Ghana? Because any papers, I ban, I bet you six months. About this is uh, about one more six months. About six months, uh, it's it, it, a I spent all six months in the SDM called Ghana Bill. Hey, brother, how I'm going to feel what way you know. No, I mean, mood and all. I mean, days, I mean, honestly, I brought you so you know that a mania a year while I brought you up. Now, me, the most. Tally, one one final thing before we move. And Jin the 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 leaders in Africa are not putting things in order for us to stay in Africa. Because most people who travel outside to the Western world, some will say, I'm going to learn, some will say greener pastures, some will say, like I'm married to someone, they have to go. But they, some of these are legit, you know, but some also will say. I just want to go and better my life. Don't you think African leaders must call to book? They must put the system in place for us to stay here and develop Africa. Um, I think first, first of all, African leaders, most of them, I'll say, they are not really thinking about the people on grounds. Let me limit myself to my country. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about other countries. And the government, most of the time, most these people, they are not really thinking about the ordinary Ghana, you know. Mm -hmm. Because you can, you see some of the videos online that tells they are talking about, you realize ah, it's like they don't know what is happening to uh, the normal citizen. Because the, 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 they sound as if the people are doing well, the people can afford mm -hmm. some things, but you can clearly see the people can't afford. Like somebody, I know people who are receiving some. Me personally, I know many people who are receiving some hundred cities a month. Hmm. I know them. So and then I look at the prices of food. And for me, I always look at the prices of food first because uh, they say, "Oh, the hungry man is an angry man." It's an angry man, yeah. But you see, because I do music, eh, mm -hmm. I really understand. A lot of the people yeah. down there, because all these people, they see you post a picture, they see you post a, a video, they think you have a lot of money. Me, as I did here, so brother, my siblings be five. My siblings, the siblings is beyond even in a like a great way. We be university now, the bagan you university, you are not successful. You are not successful, yeah. So it's why order. You want to ring it at the wall hustle. So. I need mean, sometimes you need to help your siblings out, you help some family members out. You see, at the time that many is gonna be that, but that our and whatever part there, at the time that many is gonna almost all do. 
most of the time, you are Padisi, you are a bad anna. You are Padisi, you are inside. I said, me there. The reality of the tennis, of the matter is, people don't have money. Yeah. I understand people. People are going through a lot of hardship in Ghana. You see, right. um, a lot of the youth, like young people, are dying. Mm -hmm. The deaths in Ghana is not that they are sick and have with them all. They are not really sick. They are hungry. Yeah. And they are thinking too much. It's a suicide. Young boy, we not want to do what Charlie. Nigga, I'm not your nature. Nigga, what? Get your corner and we won't get you. What the hell? Because on this guy, on this guy, he used to show up a ball game. I'm a woman. Hey, I said. Papa, one can say, girl, one but that's for the girl and see them man being like a second came for some walk Malay. Walk Malay, yeah. That's one can say, come the wall of bun. We're basing in team all of bun. So, so anybody who is watching right now, I'm having a conversation with uh, Talibu. Like I made mention earlier on, this time we'll be mixing my local language and then the english because uh we need to project our our languages as well so uh basically we've talked about him being in ghana and then finding himself in the u.s his experiences and all that talibu your last word to anybody who's watching us right now yeah so uh i'll tell you to be careful stay blessed you know and to my Ghanaians, election is coming so stay blessed be careful <laughs> Uh, don't do what I wouldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out, bro. Oh, my, please, please.